I'm fine with it. I'm still not over it. It's Jay, and I'm here with another Top 5 of Wednesdays. Top 5 Wednesdays was created by Ginger Reads Laney, so I will leave her link down below so you can go check her out, and the Goodreads group as well. This week's topic is the Top 5 Books That You Were Spoiled For. And this topic is super hard to talk about, because you can't say why you were spoiled, because that can spoil someone else. So I'm kind of confused how to do this. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I was spoiled for is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. It's kind of my own fault why I was spoiled for it because I saw the movie before the book, which makes me not want to read this book. Which is why I'm only 89 pages in and haven't touched it in a year. I just, I can't read books that I've seen the movie first because I already know what's going to happen and it's not exciting. The next book that I was spoiled on is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I was spoiled on this because I know what she picked at the end before I read the book, so... It's not that big of a spoiler because you can kind of guess since there's a second book. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but I knew it, and therefore I was spoiled, and therefore it's on my list. The next book that I was spoiled for was The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Also, it was my fault because I watched the movie before I read the book. I haven't read the book yet because I saw the movie, and as I said before, I don't like reading the book after I watch the movie because I already know what's going to happen, so it's not entertaining anymore. I mean, I'm sure the movie is different from the book, but I just, I can't bring myself to do it. I will one day, just not today. My next book is Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I am not going to get into this. Somebody told me what happened. Nicole, hey, how you doing? I knew that one of the characters died. You all probably know who it is. I hate this book because of that ending. But I mean, it wasn't that big of a shock to me because I was spoiled for it, but I read it because I didn't believe her. She was right. And the final book on my top five list for this week is Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. This is the third book in the Hunger Games trilogy. I knew one of the main characters died before I read the book. And again, I didn't believe it, so I had to read it to find out that it was actually true, and I was not happy about it because I loved that character. She was one of my favorites. I'm not over it. Alright guys, so that was my list of top 5 books that I was spoiled for. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!